I need a tan. It's winter and I look so Casper the Friendly Ghost right now. ghetto camera setup I've ever had. Hey guys, so as per the title, you probably already know what this is about. So today, I fell for another Instagram um, trick. Another Instagram ploy, trick, whatever you want to call it. I kept seeing these ads for this foundation. I know that it's old, I know it's not new, and that's okay because sometimes we do old things and people still search them. I don't know. Anyways, as per the title, today we are doing an Il Maquillage review. Did I say that properly? Il Maquillage review. So I took their beauty quiz. You would know this because you probably have already clicked on the website and their Instagram and all that and seen that you have to do a beauty quiz. Nowadays, most companies do this. You take a beauty quiz, you answer questions about what color you are, what color you think you are. And what else? what colors you feel like you look good in, blah, 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 blah. You pick all these answers and then they decide, since you pick these answers, you fall under this category and you're this color. I wanted to give Il, Ma Il Maquillage a try. So I did, I finally gave in. I've been doing this for about like the past three months and I'm like, I'm not gonna buy it. I just wanna see what the quiz says, but I'm not gonna actually buy it, there's no way. Every single time I'd be flipping through my phone and I would see it and I'd be like, hmm, let me take the quiz again today. Let's see if it's different. Let's see if it's the exact same shade that it gave me last time. Just out of curiosity, just for fun, it's quarantine, you know, we're bored. I kept trying it and then one day something changed, but one day I was on there and I'm clicking it and I'm like, hmm, let me see if this thing is actually as good as a lot of people are saying it is. So I bought it. Long story short, I bought it. And it comes packaged, kind of cute. It comes like this. Their aesthetic is all like black and white, bougie, like, this is the foundation for you, gimmicky kind of like selling, selling point. I don't know what it's called, but it comes packaged in like this black bubble wrap, which is really cool. Um, and it had this little sticker on it to close it that says, there's no such thing as too much. I think their, their marketing or selling point is kind of like, buy this bougie foundation because it just makes you flawless, Instagram perfect, filter, no need for a filter, like all this foo-foo, whatever, you don't, you know what I mean? Makeup makes us feel cute, it makes us feel nice sometimes, so that's why we put it on. And we put it on for ourselves, we don't put it on for anybody else, at least I don't know about you guys, but I put it on for me. There's days when sometimes I'm like, let me put this on for the gram, and then there's days when I'm like, let me put this on for me. So it just depends on how you're feeling. I mean, so their 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 branding slash like slogans and stuff kind of had me like, okay. The packaging is mad cute. Um, my address is on that side, so let's get that. Um, so that's the packaging. It's like this cute black bow wrap, but it looks like this. It says Il Maquillage, uh, New York. And ooh, there's stuff sticking out. I'm not gonna lie, not like I didn't already open it because I did. I just haven't tried it on, but I opened up the package to see what it looked like. It comes with this little paper and the paper says over 75% of women get the found, get their foundation. Why can't I talk? Over 75% of women get foundation wrong. So get yours right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw, and neckline. Two, blend out with a brush and or sponge, not by hand. Okay. Uh, number three, wait five minutes for the foundation to set before checking your shade. Okay. Um, well, we all know the foundation oxidizes anyways, but, um, don't match your neck or wrist. They're a different tone than your face. But don't, when we check beauty swatches on Sephora and on websites, isn't the first thing they show us this? Somebody's wrist with all the swatches on their wrist? So then how is that going to help us? We're buying foundation. And we're always seeing a wrist swatch. Why are you <laughs> a wrist swatch? Why are you always showing this to us and then now telling me not to actually take that for truth? Anyways, uh, okay. So yeah, and then it says finish your face with concealer, blush, and bronzer. Number six, wear for a full week to determine if it's perfect for you. Well, I think it'll take less than a week for me, but we gonna see. Comes with all this little 
stuff, this little paper toupee. It comes with this paper toupee. More cute packaging. This is the actual foundation. So it comes in like this little paper house type situation. You just gotta pull it open and boom, there's your foundation. I'm gonna grab my Fenty foundation and see if it's even close. I'm gonna swatch them side by side because the shade that I am in Fenty, I believe is 290. And that shade matches me like it's my own skin. So if this is close to that, then I know this is gonna be perfect. Let's just do a quick side-by-side -side comparison in the bottles. I mean, I know you guys can't see as good as I can, but I'll let you know. So this is the Eau Maquillage, looking like this, and this is my Fenty. What do you guys see? What do you think? Already side-by-side, -side, looking through the tube, I already see that there is a huge color difference. But again, that doesn't mean that this won't be perfect. Like, maybe this is actually closer to what I am and this maybe has too much of a yellow tone or too much of a a brown tone or too much of a what else another tone I don't know too much of something else and then this one probably is perfect I don't know but this one is usually very 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 close to my shade in the winter which is right now um I get very pale like <laughs> in the summer I get dark really easily um Again, I mixed, so it makes sense. Typically when I go on vacation, my family is from Barbados and Guyana. Typically when I go on vacation, I get brown really quick. This might just end up being a summer foundation if it's just a little bit too dark for me. No, I thought I got it all. Don't you hate when you pull it off plastic and you think you got it all and then you look down and the rest of whatever you're pulling the plastic off of is like still covered. And watch me drop this glass bottle. Oh, I forgot to mention the bottle is glass. So be careful. So I am in shade, woke up like this, 120. So the bottom one right here is Fenty and the top one is Il Maquillage. So you see how the Il Maquillage is lighter than the Fenty. Um, but I did choose that during this time of season my skin is lighter so maybe that's why. Okay, so they also told me to apply it with a sponge and not a brush. So I've cleaned my beauty blender or my fake beauty blender that I got from Winners. Yeah. So I did, took exactly one pump. So we're going to see. Let's do it. I'm going to do one cheek at a time because I hate when it starts to set. Yeah, it's going to be a heavier um, application because I basically put the one pump on this side alone. I really need concealer right now. My skin has not been acting right and i just don't know i've been drinking a lot of water but i typically do i typically drink about oh dry skin i typically drink about two to three liters a day so i know it's not water intake that's my issue so far i can't really tell quite yet because of this lighting is so bright i'm gonna test the lighting in a second anyways let's finish up with the other the rest of my face and then i can really tell and it said to what wait five minutes until it oxidizes Okay, we'll do that. Forehead. Oh, God. I like how the foundation feels, though, in all honesty. Like, it feels very velvety, very creamy. And in terms of the color, they do have it to where you can go on the website and you can pick your color as opposed to taking the quiz and making a pick for you. You can pick it yourself. You just kind of got to go through it like a regular foundation and figure it out by looking at swatches or um, reading the descriptions I think they have there. It's very close. It's very, very close. This is gonna make it hard for me, Fenty. I actually have the Il Maquillage Concealer. I did not purchase it. Um, it was given to me by a friend. So shout out to Ray Ray. It's the perfect shade for me. Like when I put it on with my other foundations, it looks so good. So there go the crazy faces again. So the powder that I, consistently have been using that I really love is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. It's this one. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna apply a little bit of powder just because I wanna see. So that is the full face. And for a coverage, it's supposed to be heavy or heavier. It's not too crazy cake heavy, so that's good. I can build this. I could probably build some more on here. I mean, right now, do I love it? Am I like those girls in the commercial that are like, <laughs> Is that me right now? No.
Maybe a little bit. Will I keep it? Yeah, I'll keep it. Why not? It's a good foundation. Well, so far it's good. I don't know how it's going to hold up to like a, a wear, an actual wear day of like 24 hours or less. I'm going to apply some bronzer now so I can show you guys the full face. Um, you know what? It's not a bad face at all. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everyone's good. I hope you're all practicing social slash physical distancing, staying safe, staying home only going out when absolutely necessary. Stay inside, keep everybody safe around you, keep yourself safe and just practice some meditation, some some have some calm for yourself, focus on yourself, you know, practice just making yourself a better person during this time and then when you come out of it, everyone's going to be like, "Damn, you were really focused on yourself." It sucks being stuck at home, but it's also a time to reflect and think about what's going on in our lives, what's going on in the world, what kind of people we are, what kind of people we want to be. Who do you want to be? Whoever you want to be, the best version of yourself you can be that person right now you can start taking steps right now while during this time off to make yourself the best possible version of yourself if i hope you're all doing well i hope you all have everything you need i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching be your own beautiful